Now, the Capital Markets Authority has once again warned the public against investing in unregulated products offered by unlicensed entities. The move is in response to numerous complaints that have been made by some investors at Saiten Investments who accuse the firm of failing to honor its contracts. Dennis Sotieno reports. And they respond to us and tell us, in regards to the CHYS, that is the Saiten High Yield Fund, um, we are still facing liquidity challenges as our real estate collections are yet to be optimal to support any remittances. Guys, this is so irritating. Lynn Gugi is a frustrated investor. Together with her friends, she invested an unspecified sum of money with Cyton Investments, channeled into Cyton High Yield Fund nearly two years ago. So we get to March, COVID has hit the country, and Cyton uses COVID as an excuse of not releasing our money to us. Yet, they had invested our money the previous year. What followed was a series of communication, which the fund manager tried to explain. The money is safe. However, the product, if you're investing in real estate, illiquidity is one of the risks. There could be a time where the money cannot then come out of the of the real estate and then you go into the contract and say this is how we deal with the illiquidity so even when people say i cannot withdraw contractually the fund the the, the withdrawal is not due because the withdrawal is always subject to a liquidity provision in that particular in that particular contract under the model siton pulls funds from the public and deploys the monies raised for investments into projects such as real estate. But the firm says it has encountered a number of challenges. The pandemic is, I would say, a third of it. Uh, a hostile regulatory environment is another third of it. And what I would say, uh, value-destroying uh, activities from investors is another third of it. How don't you have money to pay us back Yet you're saying you're still making profits and you're still marketing the same fund to the general public. The fund is today the subject of numerous complaints from other investors who have expressed similar concerns. Such cases have attracted the attention of the Capital Markets Authority, which has warned investors against what they termed as unregulated products and entities. Site on management has however defended the activities of the firm. It is a serious issue from a PR publicity point of view. And then you see people wrapping in liquidity with derogatory terms like Ponzi scheme. It would be the first Ponzi scheme that has a whole bunch of asset. Ponzi scheme essentially means taking from Dennis giving to Paul and there's no underlying commercial activity. Cyton has 4,000 investors under the Cyton High Yield Fund. Out of this, Dante says roughly 200 have raised concerns regarding the investment. Denis Otieno, Citizen TV.